Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the top of welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of one win and no loss. Fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada. Right here. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of three wins and four losses. Fighting out of Torres MMA Sport, Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of San Bernardino, California, Sir Mosley. The referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Joe Sullivan. Three three-minute rounds, cage door is shut. Here we go, round number one. Future stars of MMA. Sir Mosley is wearing the black, the red, and the white. Ryder Newman is wearing the black trunks with the silver trim, and boy, he elevates him for a big slam there, Mahoney. Big takedown with authority, Dave. Yeah, and you said early on that this was going to be the stand-up fighter in Sir Mosley versus Ryder Newman, who is the grappler, and Rhino is pressing hard here for another takedown. Had no problem getting it last time, let's see here. Mosley doing a nice job of sitting down, avoiding the takedown. Rhino throws a knee to the body. Nice knee there by Mosley. Mosley answers back. Both Mosley looking very composed, even while eating some of those knees and dealing with the pressure there from Newman. Turns it around and gets Newman's back up against the cage. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to experience, I mean, we saw Newman open very aggressive there. Newman is 1-0 on his record in amateur mixed martial arts. Mosley is 3-4. and four. Mosley does have considerably more experience, although not a winning record. He does have seven fights in the, amateur, in the amateur ranks. This would be his eighth. We'll see if that experience plays a factor as we get a little bit deeper into this one, but we only have about 45 seconds left here in the opening frame. Mosley's not liking those knees there from Newman. You can see the grimace on his face. Trying to spin out, throws a knee of his own. And Newman is relentless and he gets the takedown once again. He ends up in the top position. This time Mosley looks a little bit less spry on the ground. Last time he quickly tried to advance out of it. This time he seems comfortable just staying in the bottom position, not really in any danger right now. Nice side control there for Newman, but is he able to do anything with it other than just stay on top? Doubtful here with under 10 seconds left to go. Now he's in the close guard of Sir Mosley. Those big slams take a lot of energy. That is the end of round number one, and that was a good one for Ryder Rhino Newman. All right, so if you're the corner of Sir Mosley, what are you telling him right now? Because he, he's got to change up his style enough where he avoids the takedown, but when it's as powerful as it has been from Ryder Newman, it's difficult to do. I mean, let's take a look at this takedown. This is the first one. He even had a bit of a fence grab there, and still, Rhino was able to put him on his back. It's big, a difficult big, spot big. To be and in. here's the other one near the end of the fight where he puts him on his back again. You got, you got to tell him to just, you got to stay away from that. But he's having a hard time finding that distance to exchange with Newman. Yeah, he hasn't really been in a position yet where he's found that distance where he can strike without being threatened by that takedown. You know, that's that elite training that we were talking about at Extreme Couture. You take away your opponent's greatest strength by being aggressive yourself, but focusing on your own strength. Ryder Newman in round number one did a great job of that, but Sir Mosley just saw a very determined and calm look on his face. Let's Actually, see if he can turn that into something here in round number two. Stood up from his chair quite a bit early, too. Newman again in the black trunks with the silver. Sir Mosley is wearing the black, the red, and the white. And nice strikes there. Those are landing from Sir Mosley. Couple yeah. of shots landed. Now he's calling him forward. So Mosley trying to bait him into his game. Both these guys have a lot of power. I don't think either one of them want to get into a brawl, really. Mosley's kind of flat-footed. And as you see him being flat-footed, we see Newman get there and get the takedown. Yeah, and the takedown is happening right in front of us here at the broadcast booth. He did a nice job of not just getting him on the ground. He also picked that arm. So basically what... Uh, Sir Mosley was doing is he was using his arm to be able to at least maintain some balance on the ground and instantly recognize 
Newman obviously has years of wrestling experience, just instantly grabbing for that arm, taking out that one last bit of support, and here we go, over a minute remaining in round number two, and Newman in top position. Yeah, having half guard right now, very dominant position. Mosley doing a good job of not letting him pull back and, and strike with a lot of power. Yeah, you but see he's what, what Mosley's doing right now is he has his hand on the back of the head of Newman, and what he's trying to do is keep him from posturing up so he can't rain down those big punches. But all he's really able to do in this position is just try to mitigate as much damage as possible. He's not able to mount any offense. He's trying to push uh, Newman off and get back to his feet. I don't like it, but sometimes in amateur M MMA, we will see a stand-up from a advantageous position if you are in half guard. We have seen stand-ups there. Uh, back to full guard now is Mosley. Yeah, Sullivan watching very closely, though, as the referee. And now Rhino is starting to land some big shots. This is what Mosley was trying to avoid earlier in the round. Final seconds here of round number two, and he survives the onslaught. Interesting to see Newman landing better shots from full guard than he was from half. Yeah, very interesting. He, you can tell that he's practiced that position a number of times. Two rounds in the bag, and again, Mosley did a nice job there in the second round, in the opening frames of the second round, being able to mount a little bit of offense. But Newman got stung a little bit in that first exchange. Yes, he did. And he learned his lesson pretty quickly. Let's not get this, uh, let's not make this a striking battle with Sir Mosley. Let's stick to the bread and butter. Lots of chance for Rhino here in downtown Las Vegas. The downtown Las Vegas event center is rocking tonight. Three two-minute rounds is our format. We have arrived at our third and final round. Two more minutes on the clock. Cage door closed, and we are off. Let's see how aggressive Newman gets on our unofficial scorecard. He is easily up two rounds to none. Does he want to be aggressive or does he want to lay back? Again, these two minutes can pass you by pretty quickly if you don't start to mount some offense. Sir Mosley on, on our unofficial scorecard is going to need to finish here if he wants to get the victory. Goes for a kick, even though it's a low kick. Beautifully timed by Rhino. He shoots in, gets the takedown with ease, and once again, He's in top position. Now he's in that closed full guard of Sir Mosley, but as you mentioned, Mahoney, that's where he did the most damage at the end of round number two. And this is not where Mosley needs to be. He is down two rounds. He needs to have. He needs to do something. This and is going to be a hard position for him to get out of. I don't know if he's going to be able to. Just over a minute remaining, and Rhino is once again in top position, raining down punches right now. Mosley trying to stifle that offense of Newman, but Newman still fighting it, fighting his hardest to try to get that right through. Joe Sullivan watching closely. It's Dave Farah and Jason Mahoney, great to be with you guys tonight here in Las Vegas. Certainly fantastic to be cage side here at Tough Enough, watching the future stars of MMA, and so far this fight has been all Rhino. Just over 20 seconds remaining in the third and final round. Just a dominant performance so far from Newman. Final 10 seconds. Can Newman put an exclamation? Oh, look at this. Sir for an arm He's spinning for that arm. Newman detects it almost immediately. Going to be hard to finish off there in the final 10. And Sir Mosley's not able to do it. Nice effort, though, there at the yep. very end of the fight. I like that he was still hunting, looking for that finish, even though it appeared that he was down and out. That Torres MMA background coming out right there at the end. Might not have been expecting that from Mosley, but uh, made a valiant effort there at the end. But that fight was all Newman. Yeah, Rhino Newman has earned himself a reputation in the amateur ranks. And taking a look here at the replay, you're going to see that takedown. I mean, Rhino knew exactly what he wanted to see, uh, exactly what he wanted to do rather throughout this entire fight, and that was to get Sir Mosley to the ground in each and every round. He was able to do that. He was postured up here, landing some big punches. That was the story of the fight. 
Reiner knew what he needed to do to take out the, the much more experienced opponent in Sir Mosley, and he was dominant throughout all three rounds. Beautiful performance from him. Let's take it up to Justin Bernard, who is in the ring with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after a three round war, we go to the judges' scorecard for your winner by unanimous decision, the blue corner, Riker Newman. Telling you, Mahoney, we are seeing some real future stars of MMA. Certainly looks like it, right? Ryan well, Newman looked excellent. I could easily see him making the ranks up through the. Uh, smaller MMA organizations and possibly ending up in the UFC someday. So there you go. He improves his record to 2-0. and We have got more fights coming up. We're dropping it down to 145 next. This is the Future Stars of MMA.